Now, would it surprise you to know that there's a fundamental mitzvah at the epicenter of Jewish life that many Jewish people aren't even aware of? It's God's wisdom for guiding the rhythms of a couple's physical intimacy, transforming their intimate lives into a sacred space. It's the channel through which they welcome God into their home and marriage. Judaism views the bonds of marriage as wondrous, powerful, and sacred. A physical union which has the potential to create new life is the closest we humans come to emulating God, the creator of all life. Like everything precious and potent, we need to treat this with the utmost care, making sure it's experienced with the right person, one spouse, in the right mode, when they're both willing and loving, in the right place, a private one, and at the right time. We'll get to that soon. This mitzvah is so essential to Jewish life, you could sell your city's only Torah scroll in order to enable its performance. Clearly, this is a truly fundamental mitzvah, and it all centers around a pool of water. Known as a mikvah, this special pool is meticulously built according to Jewish law, which also guides us as to when and how it should be used. Through immersion in the mikvah, married women experience spiritual renewal and bring additional holiness into their homes and marriages. Many couples who observe the mitzvah of mikvah are well aware of the wondrous way in which it re-energizes their intimate relationship. With the onset of menstruation, Jewish law prohibits the physical affectionate touch between a woman and her husband. This is known as nida. Other forms of physical contact are also avoided during this time, ensuring proper boundaries. To be clear, this has nothing to do with cleanliness or the ancient taboos around a woman's natural cycle. Rather, it's about inviting God, the infinite creator of all life, into one's marriage. As an added bonus, this is a great time for a couple to strengthen and deepen their emotional connection. A lull in physical touch offers a couple an opportunity and challenge to connect beyond the physical. After all, every fire needs air to breathe. After at least five days from the start of her menstrual cycle, once a woman has ensured that her cycle has completely ended, she and her husband begin counting down towards mikvah night when they can finally be reunited. She counts seven complete days and when night falls, it's finally time for her to go to the mikvah. Before immersing in the water, a woman must first ensure that she removes any intervening substance between her body and the mikvah waters. To this end, she'll prepare by taking a hot bath and shower so that she is perfectly clean before immersion. After all, the mikvah has nothing to do with physical hygiene. Rather, it affects a spiritual transformation and renewal. Many contemporary mikvahs look like luxurious spas. A woman can choose to prepare for her immersion at home or at the mikvah. Once she's ready to immerse, an attendant will accompany her to the mikvah pool. Since Torah law details that the waters must reach every part of her body to the tips of her hair, the attendant is there to help her ensure that she has completed her immersion. After immersing once while still in the warm mikvah waters, a woman will say a brief blessing and then immerse at least once more. She then has the opportunity to take the time for personal prayer, recognizing the potency of this powerful moment when the heavens are open to a woman's prayer. Back home, the couple can once again be physically intimate. There's a special spiritual energy to a couple's intimacy on this night. After about two weeks of being physically apart, they reunite with a passion fueled by their longing and their renewed appreciation for one another. In the words of our sages, it's like their wedding night all over again. The first time a woman has the opportunity to do the mitzvah of mikvah is as a bride in preparation for her wedding day. Thereafter, each time a woman does this mitzvah in the correct way, she connects to God and draws down his infinite blessings. The sanctity of mikvah is especially powerful before pregnancy, offering the optimal conduit for drawing a holy soul into the child being conceived. At the other end of the ark, if a woman has not had the opportunity to do this mitzvah, so long as she is married to a Jewish man, this mitzvah is still available to her even if she's post-menopause. This is, of course, just a cursory glance at mikvah. There is so much more. So to learn how to actually do this mitzvah, 
you'll need to speak with your Revitan or a mentor who has experience teaching these laws. You'd be shocked to learn of the wide range of Jewish couples, of otherwise varying Jewish observance, who make mikvah a priority in their marriages. This is especially true since 1975, when the Lubavitcher Rebbe galvanized Jewish women everywhere to share the beauty of mikvah with their peers and make mikvahs as inviting and luxurious as possible. Throughout our history, from the embattled Masada Fortress to the harshest times of the Soviet Union, against all odds, Jews have always built and used the mikvah, the foundation of Jewish life. Today, observance of mikvah continues to grow and is treasured by the Jewish people. With new mikvahs being built and upgraded all over the world, this mitzvah is becoming easier and more accessible to couples who want to invite God into their homes and marriages.